Anyway, I'll talk to him on that. Hello, good morning, Chirag. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir. Hello, hello. Good morning, Chirag. How are you? I'm very good, sir. I hope you are also in better health, sir. Ah, yes, yes, sir. So taking good care of yourself. Yes, sir. Testing time. Yes, are sir. Are you still with the Tata Motors, or you have left? No, sir. Yes, sir. I have left Tata Motors in 2016 only, sir. Okay. So what have you been doing during all this time? Sir, uh, since 2016, I am preparing for this UPSC, and uh, this is my third attempt at UPSC. Sir, sir. This is your third attempt, first interview. This is second interview, sir. Second interview. How many did you score earlier? Sir, last time uh, I scored 156 mark in Fujata Ma'am board, sir. 156. Okay, so you need to improve upon. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. Okay, let's. Uh, Uh, move forward you are from bharatpur rajasthan hmm and many things are happening in rajasthan i am not going to talk about it but rajasthan uh, had a indra gandhi desert project you are aware of that yes sir it is said that this desert project was both glory and pain for rajasthan yes sir so why was it glory and why was it pain and how would you rate it more glory than pain in uh, sir i would rate it a more glory but yes sir painful uh, painful things are also being attached with this the um, glory it brings in terms of improving the cropping pattern and providing the irrigation to uh, the area of desert region where earlier there was uh, not not possible to grow crops now they are growing uh, certain certain wheat wheat and wheat crops so in that sense that has bring glory and drinking water availability is also also which was not available in desert region that was made available but sir the painful situation is that people are moving towards water dwelling crops and because of that the the region is uh, getting water desert water intensive cropping because of that water is not available to large section of uh, large section and in, even the drinking water problem is arising okay and sir yes so any any solution that you you can propose if you are posted in rajasthan yes sir so how how would you tackle the pain of igbp i think uh, a very a very similar situation with the israel country also there we if there for that model, if we can adopt that model uh, based on their pen sprinkler irrigation like we can reduce the water intensity of the crop then we we need to move towards water less water intensive crops like we are having a strength in bajra and uh, and such uh, what uh, such hardy crops so if that are grown then sir i think that problem will be tackled much better yeah i think there is one school of thought which says that even geographical studies showed that this land is not uh, suitable for the kind of canal because uh, the water doesn't percolate down So it remains on the surface because of the kind of soil that is there. Yes, sir. Anyway, so you you are from Bharatpur. Tell yes, us sir. more about Lohagarh. Why Lohagarh yes, is famous? Yes, sir. sir. Lohagarh is said to be the only fort in in India which is not been borne by the Britishers. It is known for its uh, un un. It's uh, never 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 give give up the the. soldiers and the rulers of this area was so strong that they they never gave up this fort and in the structure of the fort like uh, there is a mod around this uh, around this uh, fort so because of that and even the uh, even the mud mud that has been that has been surrounded by this fort is is the main reason behind its protection and why bharatpur has suddenly gone out of favor means bird century not many birds not many tourists so how would you revive the glory of bharat the tourism industry is very much uh, very much important for bharatpur economy sir because as the raw material major raw materials are not available manufacturing industry cannot be incentivized so in order to promote jobs we need a tourism industry first and most foremost thing should be sir that we need to have uh, involvement of private sir this area is also also a braj braj region part of braj region where many many pilgrims come for chaurasi uh, uh, coast parikrama 
in this region sir so these people can be halted in if we provide them with a heritage hotel facility so some of the forts can be can be in, involved with the privates and a heritage hotel concept can be revived okay. other than that sir yes this this would be the major uh, major thing other than that sir religious tourism is one of the prominent area that is there sir but i think in covid crisis that has been impacted too so we if we reduce this cost of this heritage hotel concept then sir this will be incentivized All right. You are a mechanical engineer. You have worked with Tata Motors. Yes, sir. So, what new norms for the manufacturing sector would you uh, propose in view of the pandemic and the uh, lessons that we have learned from it? New norms for the manufacturing sector, so, uh, particularly for sa sanitary purposes, uh, hygiene and sanitary purposes. no particularly for maintaining the productivity in the manufacturing sector which which has seen a steep decline because this is one sector where touch cannot be avoided you have yes. people so they will touch and so what are the new norms that you think pandemic has taught us for manufacturing sector i think uh, the then there is a robotic engineering that is uh, very much there in uh, manufacturing we are imp implementing automation of production lines in manufacturing that is one where we can reduce the contact but sir i think uh, it will also impact our uh, employment opportunities for a labor so focusing on the sanitization and hygiene uh, with the training to the labors would be would also be need to be taken care sir otherwise there would be problem of unemployment as well in our, in our country no that that will always have to be balanced out but manufacturing yes, sector future lies in more and automation yes sir yes. and creation of job is uh, uh, is to be thought of in sectors where there are uh, several avenues okay yes sir yes sir okay and uh, talking about uh, pandemic yes sir tell me which is the worst uh, uh, thing world war 2 or pandemic 20 and why which is worse world war 2 consequences or pandemic 2020 and why think think and then yes sir connect it with your subject i think it will be easier for you to reply that i think uh, world war 2 revive economy uh, in 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 short period of time because of that uh, because that time demand of the manufacturing the demand of uh, weapons that uh, that emerged that got even higher but during this covid crisis the whole of the manufacturing industry and the job have been have been collapsed economy of the many many countries have been collapsed that world war affected the majorly uh, economies of europe but uh, the economies of other region got, got revived but this pandemic has created a problem for all of the world sir so i think uh, pandemic in that sense has created much more much more problem but uh, in taking life of the people sir that world war was also major it took more than 1, 10 billion people life so in that sense sir that world war 2 was also a certain impact but you you are dot on spot that world war 2 created opportunities and even the biggest uh, depression was resolved due to world war 2 yes sir yes. right so connect the depression and thing yes. okay right. uh, talking about privatization in the railways my last question before yes, i pass sir. it on to my friends uh, privatization in the railways what was the need for it? you think government will benefit you think public will benefit and how sir i think uh, privatization of railways uh, it, it plan to uh, it plan to get involved private sector in running 151 uh, trains uh, trains on 109 routes sir i think all the stakeholders will be benefit out, out of this there was a, uh, there was a ministry of railway statistics says that sir uh, in 2019 20 around 5 crore uh, uh, wait wait listed wait listed uh, passenger but uh, at the last moment their ticket got cancelled 
and that was peak in the during time of season uh, season sir like diwali and holi season so i think sir bringing more private uh, private trains in this situation will not only cater to the demand of those people and will also help help them in uh, getting better services with uh, with private uh, services coming in sir better services and delivery would be achieved so this would be the major benefit sir and also sir railway budget is very much constrained the capital budget of railway is very constrained in that sense sir they cannot improve their capacity as uh, to a large extent so involving private would would uh, would help in that direction yes 30000 crore is what yes, government is uh, expecting yes sir yes sir and i think the most important point that should be brought out is the uh, new technology Yes, and uh, uh, higher speed yes, and sir. many many passenger amenities that we are talking also sir that uh, we are creating a, a, a dedicated freight corridor if the once they are become operational 30% of the freight uh, freight trains would be would get out of these uh, yes. passenger tra tracks sir so <laughs> we have a much capacity to build in there very good very good i think that is that is the whole crux of this privatization Yes, it was the surplus ca capacity, which will be created because of the freight call. Yes, sir. Yes. Good, good, good. Thank you. Ah. Hello, Chirag. Hello, sir. The optional is geography. Yes, sir. Uh, can you explain the genesis of tropical easterly jet? I mean, how the tropical easterly jets are formed? I'm not asking the role of tropical easterly jet in the. Yes, sir. Uh, formation of Indian monsoon, but I am asking the formation, the mechanism of the formation of tropical easterly jet. Yes, the main uh, main factor for genesis of proper easterly jet is that uh, uh, depression being uh, low pressure being created at the Tibetan Plateau region, sir. Okay. sir. Yes, sir. From there, uh, because of the low pressure being created because, because when sun is at the head of uh, Tropic of Cancer, so there is a one. Uh, one wing one wing get uh, in the upper upper atmosphere that in and then it disperses to the uh, muscarine high region sir because of that stream that tropical, tropical jet stream is created because of low pressure what happens at the ground surface what kind of uh, what kind of uh, circulation of the air gets developed at the ground surface first sir, if the low pressure is being created then up, uh, the warm air will rise up because of that the upper limb will be created and when it cool down in the upper atmosphere in upper troposphere it will it will disperse and because of the, because of the wind direction it will it is uh, observed that it depresses the uh, it, it will get uh, their uh, lower limb will get at uh, muscarine high sir so in that sense uh, a tropical jet stream is created there okay tropical easterly jet is created then how it constrains the indian monsoon so it uh, a tropical jet uh, jet stream when it is created it's generally favorable for tropic uh, for, for formation of indian monsoon it's Because not generally favorable it's definitely favorable it's definitely favorable for indian monsoon yes it's sir. the sole reason because of which the indian monsoon uh, strikes the uh, coast uh, that is the kerala coast on first of yes, all yes sir because uh, pressure there is a pressure gradient been enhanced sir low pressure is there at the uh, monsoonal trough at indian latma and when this disperses at the muskrin high the uh, high pressure is created so pressure gradient further get enhanced and because of that wind uh, monsoonal wind get attracted to the indian latma okay, what is the uh, role of somali jet if the somali jet is like absent in some particular season during the monsoonal season uh, if the somali jet is uh, totally absent then what will be the nature of the indian monsoon in that particular season uh, i'm not very exactly will it aware of subdued or will it be uh, will it be enhanced it is said to be enhanced if the uh, somali jet stream is present then monsoon is said to be enhanced but i am not sure what the reason no it will be subdued because so somali Sorry. jet is friend of the indian monsoon if it is absent then indian monsoon will be subdued in that case Yes. Somali jet actually helps the Indian monsoon winds yes, to sir. reach the Indian peninsula. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, one more question from uh, geography only. Why yes, the geographical conditions are favorable in the eastern Himalayan section, or in Assam, you can say, for the tea cultivation? 
Tea cultivation requires uh, what an uh, well-drained soil, sir. First and foremost thing. So because of these are hilly region, hilly region of Darjeeling area, and uh, water avail, uh, water rainfall is very much available. So because of the hilly area, steep gradient is there, and so so the water is well drained in those areas. Uh, so water uh, the soil is favorable available. Then for condition uh, the climatic condition for the for the tree, cult tree cultivation is very much favorable in Assam uh, Bagan sir. So these why, are why why the rainfall is very much available over there. Sir, because the uh, the there are two streams of uh, monsoon, Bay of Bengal stream and uh, Arabian stream. It Bay of Bengal stream enter into the Indian landmass through the uh, this through this region only, sir. So that's why the rainfall is available and the geographical barrier is being is there. So that's why the rainfall is available. And uh, any other reasons for tea cultivation other than these climatic factors? So the availability of labor, because these uh, these areas required uh, these are very labor intensive uh, uh, regions and, and labor it cheaply available at these regions okay fine uh, you know that in atmosphere air uh, normally moves from high pressure to low pressure area yes. can you give any example in atmosphere in lower atmosphere when the air moves from low pressure to high pressure area yes I'm not able to think. Anti-cyclonic conditions are there, where uh, where this moves, sir. But I'm not remembering the exact region. Okay, fine. Uh, you're from Bharatpur, sir. Has asked this question. In Kerala, the national park, there's this lake. Is it a natural or man-made lake? It's a man-made lake. It is being created at the Azan Band, Azan Band, uh, created by the rulers at the of that time. What is the ecological significance of this area? Ecologically, uh, that is that area is very important. It is very much uh, home for a floral and uh, fauna and fauna diversity. So, and, uh, these are home to the many many migratory birds. Like particularly, it is famous for Siberian birds. It is also home for uh, various trees, tree diversity. Kadamb, jamun, bab babul trees are present here, and it is an important wetland site as well, sir. Which, uh, which is important for even the groundwater filtration and the whole of the... Uh, it's a Ramsar site also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've done your mechanical engineering, right? Yes. Sir. Why the diesel engines are made stout in comparison to the petrol engines? So, sorry, sir. I'm uh, unable to... Why the diesel engines are made very strong? I mean, they are made very stout in comparison yes, to sir. the petrol engines. Yes, sir. Sir, because the diesel engine uh, generally based on the compression ignition. And their compression ratio is very high. You have given your answer. That's very good. Okay. Who is the architect of Jaipur? Uh, I'm not aware about this. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Okay. Hello, Shirak. Hello, sir. Okay. You worked in Tata Motors. Yes, sir. Okay. How Tata Motors or automobile industry is coping up from the impact of COVID-19? COVID-19 has created impact in terms of demand that has, uh, that has reduced because uh, now transportation sector is getting very much hit. So, uh, sir, I'm not, a, uh, I've, I have recently heard this news that they were, uh, their demand is getting enhanced with, uh, with the lockdown getting uh, reduced, restriction are getting reduced. So there is there, sir, but I think also uh, promotion to electrical vehicles uh, coming in, uh, GST uh, GST has been reduced on electrical vehicles, so that uh, demand has been in increasing. Sir. And agriculture sector, sir, also demand is coming with the uh, with uh, this hurry profit being now grown, so demand for tractors are increasing. Okay, why is WHO particularly concerned about spread of COVID-19 in malaria affected areas? In sir, in which area, sir? In malaria effect affected areas. And I'm not sure about the uh, particular reason, sir. Okay. But okay. No issues. Okay. So, sh do you think? Uh, uh, what do you think about the relevance of WHO in present times? 
uh, with present uh, present covid crisis uh, declaration of public emergency its pandemic all of that is uh, majorly enhance the role of who further creating uh, creating awareness for uh, pre- creating a coordination among the countries for vaccine vaccine development and so, uh, even the solidarity solidarity trial being conducted by who for uh, for eff- checking efficacy, efficacy of the various drugs so i think uh, the who is very much significant at present time okay then why does usa thinks in the opposite direction uh, sir currently there are certain issues with who uh, it is being seen that uh, who is getting major fund from china it is dependent on different uh, different funds and majorly it is getting fund from china it is so sir it is being less critical about the chinese role in spreading this crisis and it is less vocal about their uh, their cause so that's the reason uh, the china uh, usa thinks that it it who is not functioning okay okay you are a mechanical engineer yes sir okay. uh, how can your knowledge of mechanical engineering help in public administration i think uh, uh, technical uh, if we consider the technical part of mechanical engineering so this would be helpful in policy formulation uh, but directly it is not applicable at ground sir but i think the with mechanical engineering we lot, we learn lot of man, project management techniques and uh, techniques of operational research these are very much important for pl- pl- policy making policy implementation project reviews that generally administration took so sir i think that in that sense it is helpful yes sir okay so you are from rajasthan yes sir what is ujwal discom yojana Uh, currently if a distribution companies are uh, having uh, various losses and uh, they are in huge losses in order to revive those discoms and to improve the uh, electricity supply to all of the all of the country people the government has come up with this discom yojana where they will uh, they will ask the they will incentivize the state government to take up the 75% of the loan of of these discoms and uh, then fulfill it to the bond uh, release of bond so this is a major issue okay okay that's it from my side uh, yes sir and chirag what are your hobbies because somehow i don't have your depth yes sir my hobbies are fitness and meditation sir fitness and meditation so they say meditation is very important during these covid days yes sir what kind of meditation would you suggest to overcome the uh, major issue of depression what kind of meditation you have seen people committing suicide and uh, what not yes sir so meditation sir meditation in any form would be helpful for them if they if they uh, they started to just being relaxed at, at at that point of time any point of time and started to think about what are the thoughts being going on in their mind so in that sense uh, sir it will helpful to reduce their uh, reduce their uh, mental problems but i think sir when person is going through a depression he, he rather than to be isolated he must having a time with his family members and relatives so that the the mental problems dilemmas are there which can be resolved by uh, by consultation and by cooperation with other people sir so i think uh, people which are facing depression should not be remain isolated but remain with the family okay which three qualities uh, in you would make you uh... better civil servant yes. i think i have uh, equipped technical and uh, technical and required knowledge that is will require administration by going through this process and all of the life experience so I, so i think i am technically equipped the knowledge base i am equipped to uh, be in administration so i think also that uh, this administration requires to, to work in a limited resources and to efficiently utilize their resources sir so while i was in uh, college i also performed certain uh, leadership positions like i was a placement coordinator and we worked in a limited resources condition at that time sir so i think i can also manage with these condition and able to perform so that that would be second second sir and i also think that i am very disciplined and uh, patient person so they, these quality will helpful <coughs> in that now just one piece of advice Yes, that and whatever you said team work must yes, appear sir. because you have to carry people with you 
yes and it okay. is uh, people not only in your team but people whom you are going to address number 2 is quest for knowledge is more important than knowledge itself yes sir okay? yes so whatsoever you may be equipped you are always willing to learn more yes sir yes sir. right and third is leading from the front means you you have to have uh, qualities of leadership to guide people in worst of the times like present day yes sir okay so yes, you sir. have to show the way you have to guide people so and many norms change so many many qualities to be seen in civil servant will also undergo certain yes. change in yes. coming time so just balance out on these factors okay yes. thank you thank you very much and wish you all thank the you. best thank you so much all the okay. best sir